Hi, I'm Christina Fiani, a researcher at University of Glasgow, focusing on safeguarding children in social virtual reality, the metaverse. Virtual reality can be a lot of fun, but there has been an increase of bullying and harassment in social virtual reality, where children and adults meet to play games, join events in a 3D 360 virtual world. Mom, my friend from school has a VR headset and it's amazing. I really want one. Everyone's getting one. Please, can I please? I will have so much fun and you can play it too sometimes. Okay, it does sound fun. If you're good at school and help out more at home a little bit more, we'll buy you one for your birthday. What's wrong? Are you okay? Is the VR headset not working? You know you can talk to me anytime. Some other teenagers started playing the same game as me. They were so nasty to, to me and calling me names. They were also throwing virtual objects at me, then surrounding me, getting closer to me. It felt real and it was really annoying. <gasps> oh, I'm so glad you told me as I couldn't hear or see what the others were saying to you. It's totally unacceptable. Let's look more closely at the settings so you can play in the VR world more safely. I think we should have researched the VR a little bit more before allowing you to use social VR. Tip number one, encourage a child to take regular breaks. VR can be an intense and immersive experience, so it's important to take breaks. For example, every 15 minutes. Tip number two, educate your child about social VR risks. For example, bullying, harassment, inappropriate content. Tip number three, designate an area of the home with clear space to avoid tripping over objects while playing. Tip number four, explore and be aware. For example, explore the games and apps in VR yourself. This will help you have open conversations with your child and have a better understanding of what's happening. Tip number five, set up parental controls and junior accounts. Some VR platforms and headsets offer parental controls that allow you to restrict access to certain features. Some apps also have junior accounts. Tip number six, have open conversations with your child. Try to be interested in what your child is playing, what they enjoy and don't enjoy. A safe space for open discussions.